going to show you some great features to Reflector number two. If you do not have Reflector two, open up Reflector one and it will prompt you to download Reflector two. If you have Reflector two, go ahead and double click it to open it. You will know it's open because Reflector two will be in the upper left hand corner. In order to reflect a device like an iPad or a cell phone, you're going to swipe up from the bottom and choose AirPlay. You'll see on my device it says Hoodie's Laptop. That's because I've already connected on Reflector. In order to change any of your settings in Reflector 2, just come under the top toolbar, press Preferences, and you can name your system, show your client's name, you can set your connection preferences, like your resolution, or even if you want it to display in full screen. You can also choose how you want to record. If you want to record your lesson directly from your device that you're reflecting, go up to the left record button and press record. The numbers moving will show that it is a recording. If you want to add sound, you will have to click the reflector app in the upper right hand corner and choose the microphone to record your voice. If you would like to toggle between what's happening on your device and your own voice, just press the webcam button in the upper right hand corner. This allows face-to-face -face interaction with your teacher. So you can talk to them here while doing the lesson over here. If you want to record yourself talking as well as what's happening on the iPad, you will have to press the record button in the left corner of your webcam. Now Reflector is recording both me and what's happening on my device. It will toggle between each one. So when I don't want to record myself anymore, I just press stop and it will focus back on the device. The saved recording will look a little bit like this. You'll see both panels up until you click stop and then you'll just see one again. When you're finished with the recording, hit stop on both and it will automatically save it as a QuickTime video. Now you can post it wherever you want for students to look back on.